Let's take a look at how we can automatically log into websites using Python and Selenium. This is particularly helpful if you're building a bot to do things like automatically post tweets on Twitter or automatically post images on Instagram. This video is going to be split into two sections. To begin, I want to talk a little bit about what the common issue is when you're trying to automate logins. And in the second part, I want to show you how to automate logins using something we call session cookies. So on the left-hand side, I have a script which is meant to log us into YouTube. Now, I'm going to execute this script in sections so that we can all follow along. So starting at the top, we're going to execute the first couple lines of code, which open up a browser window and navigate to YouTube. The next thing that we need to do is we need to click on accept all in this cookie window. And sure, we can go ahead and do that by executing the next couple of lines, which find this button and then click on it. And you can see after I execute that section of the code, it goes on and closes this cookie window. Next up, we want to click in the top right hand corner of the browser where it says sign in. So over here, we're finding the element and that has the sign in button by using the CSS selector and then clicking on it. So let's go ahead and do just that. Now we've gotten to the sign in page. The next thing we need to do is we need to enter the email address. So we're finding the email field by looking for an ID. And in this case, the field where we have to enter the email has the ID identifier ID. And we're sending in the email, which I have hidden in another file called keys. So let's go ahead and execute this. You can see now the email is in the browser. Next up, we need to click on the next button. So we're finding the next button with the identifier next, which is an ID, and we're clicking on it. But as soon as we do that, you can see we have an error. This error message states that it couldn't log us in because this browser or application may not be secure. In other words, what it's telling us is that the browser or the application has detected that we're using an automated program to log us in and it's not allowing us to do that. So now we've covered the first part where we understand what the problem is with logging into applications when we do browser automation. We're now going to move on to the second part where I'm going to show you how you can log in properly using session cookies. So let me start off like this. Whenever most of us use YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or any other website, we are usually logged in automatically because it's quite inconvenient to always enter the username and password. And when we're on our own devices, it doesn't always make sense to ask for these credentials because the computer should simply remember us. And the way in which websites know who we are is by saving cookies to our device. So if I go ahead and right click in the browser window and notice that I'm logged in at the moment, then I click on inspect and within the applications ribbon, I am going to click on cookies and then onto YouTube cookies. And over here, you can see all the cookies that YouTube has saved onto my device. There's quite a lot of them. So in order to get the login right this time, when we use browser automation, what we're going to do is the following. We're going to take these cookies, save them to a CSV file, and whenever we want to log in using Selenium, we're going to inject all the cookies into the browser and then we'll be logged in straight away without having to enter a password or a username. However, you do need to be aware of the fact that all of these individual cookies have an expiry date. They don't last forever. So you need to make sure that after the expiry, you renew the cookies that you are re-injecting into the browser. So now on the left hand side, you can see the session cookies that I need in order to log in. And I want to bring to your attention that this file only contains the name of the cookie, the value and the domain. Now the name and value 
are the most important and the domain is obviously going to be YouTube because we're logging into YouTube over here. Now I have blurred out the values quite simply because if these session cookies were to be made public, then someone else could log into my YouTube account, which is not something I want. But now let's have a look at the script that actually does the heavy lifting and logs us into the application of our choice. In this case, it is going to be YouTube again. So over on the left hand side, you can see the script and it does three main things. The first thing it does is it opens a browser window. Then next, it actually gets the cookies from the CSV file I just showed you. The third thing it does is it injects the cookies and then refreshes the page. So let's go through these three steps separately. First off, let me execute the top by getting the browser window and navigating to YouTube. The next thing, I'm going to get the cookies from the CSV file and save them to the cookies variable. And then finally, I'm going to inject the cookies with this for loop and then refresh the browser window. And once that's done, you can see that I have now successfully logged in. If I hover over the icon in the top right hand corner, you can see Max teaches tech. That's my YouTube channel and you should subscribe to it. And I'm logged in successfully. If you have any ideas for future videos or are having trouble and have questions that you want to ask, then leave all that in the comments down below. That being said, we'll see each other in the next video.